Now we seem to be breeding a wealth of top class British filmmakers at the moment and director Nick Love is certainly in that category. Yeah, he's famous for his portraying football violence in his films and before we chat to him, let's take a look at his latest movie, The Firm. Love it, mainly because it's got 80s uh, soundtrack there to it. Lots of 80s. Is this a fact-based movie? Um, it is a very loose adaptation uh, of, a, of an old TV movie made in the 80s. But it's a drama. I mean, in fact, would make it a documentary. So it's, um, there was a film called The Firm made by a, a, a TV director called Alan Clark, um, who made Scum, Made in Britain, a very, very influential social filmmaker. And it's a very loose adaptation of his film, The Firm. So for people who wouldn't have any idea what a firm was, in the 80s, it, there were sort of gangs that, that got together to create football violence. Yeah, I mean, The, fir the, the, the Firm is, is not so... It, it has got football violence in it, but it's more about a, a, a young guy who wants to be one of the casuals, and the casuals part of the kind of the 80s terrorist movement. And... Um, He's as attracted to the people, the clothes, the music, the girls, as he is the football violence. So it's, not, it's, it's, it's not a film about football violence, I'd say. That trailer seems to bring that through more than perhaps, say, Football Factory, where you've got, like you say, in the iconic fashion of the 80s and what you'd associate with a football hooligan wearing, that sort of thing. Obviously, the music plays quite a big part as well. So is it very different then to Football Factory, but will fans of the Football Factory enjoy it as well, do you think? I mean, yeah, I think so, because it's got... I think... the People like the Football Factory because it had lots of football violence in it. Yeah. And, and, um, um, but it also had a sense of humour. And The Firm has got a, a big sense of humour as well. Um, but it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's actually a softer film, and I think that that probably is reflected by the fact that when I made The Football Factory, I was probably a bit young. Well, I was certainly a bit younger, not probably. Um, and a bit, bit more um, bit tougher, possibly. But as I got older, a bit softer. But The, the Firm is a, is a very classic sort of um, coming-of-age story. But, the, you know, f uh, for me, the, the, the 80s was the era that I grew up in, you know, and so the fashion and, and the people involved were, uh, is very personal to me. And are you... Does it happen when you're a film director, you do something very well and then that's what the type of film you get offered again and again and again? Well, actually, I mean, you know, I, I really, really thought a long and hard before I made the film because, you know, my films have been... Um, um, you know, lambasted by the press in the past for glorifying football violence and for glorifying just sort of male culture. And so I think that I wouldn't have taken on the firm unless I had a really um, a moral perspective on it. And uh, when we first brought the rights to the original, I, I wasn't going to direct it, I was just going to produce it. And, and then I realised there was a good story in there that I could tell. But I think even me um, would, would, you know, I had to give it a lot of thought before I did it because... I don't just want to be known for, for, for making films about football violence. That said, you know, as a filmmaker, I'm very interested in English culture. Um, I'm very interested in male culture. I'm interested in tribalism. I'm interested in gang culture. So, there are, you, you, you know, there aren't that many uh, tribes in this country that, um, that are reflected like football violence. You know, it's one of the biggest kind of tribal things we've ever had in this country. Have you had to be careful then with, say, events at West Ham and Millwall recently about how you promote the film? Because obviously you said that your films in the past have attracted, have attracted criticism from the press for glorifying these type of things. Uh, has that incident done you any favours in that respect? Um, God, that's so hard to, to, to know really at the moment because, um, ironically, the film is about Millwall and West Ham. Right. And, um, <laughs> and you know what's mad is that Millwall and West Ham have played each other once four years ago, but before that, there was ten years before they played each other, because they'd been in different divisions. Of course, yeah. And so, you know, what happened a couple of weeks ago was such a rarity, and for the, the, so the timing was, it was really kind of serendipitous, I think. Um, 
So I don't know if it's a good good thing or bad thing. You know, um, I mean, it, it it does kind of it's it's, it's weird because it re, it roots the film in a kind of reality again, I suppose. Brings it to the forefront of people's minds. Yeah, yeah. Favorite, what, what, was, sense, what was yeah. what was amazing was I think it was the BBC were accused were saying to me, uh, you know, your timing of your film's impeccable. You know, and actually we made the film a year ago, <laughs> and the draw for the cut was four it. weeks ago, <laughs> and and so they must think I got a crystal ball, maybe. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Let me just check. Uh, the film's out 18th of September. Is that right? Correct. Uh, yeah. A week on Friday. A yeah. week on Friday, so we can yeah. catch it in the cinemas then. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us in Manchester. Pleasure to be here. Okay, thank you. Okay.